Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, aka Massage Nerd. And today we have Judy Calvert from Hands On Insurance. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I've been talking with you a lot lately, so. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. So um, you're in charge of the Massage Therapy Hall of Fame presentation on Saturday night then. I am. I'm the official sponsor for the 2011 Hall of Fame at, here at the festival. And um, I'm really excited about it. There's 23 people that are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. And they've put in 25, 30 more years of uh, experience in the field to push the massage field ahead. And um, we're also going to be giving out some scholarships um, at the awards. So it's going to be a pretty exciting time for people to have their day and um, get inducted and be honored for what they've done in their profession. Well, definitely. And this has been going on for a few years now, hasn't it? Yes, um, Mike has been putting it on um, every year, and um, this is the first year that there's going to be a PowerPoint presentation, and um, myself and uh, two other people, uh, Jenny Ray and uh, Ralph Stevens, will be handing out awards, and we're going to be reading a, a short biography that the inductees have created and sent to me, and then they've also sent some pictures from the past, so people in the audience will be able to uh, see them and see what they look like from the past. <laughs> and, uh, so some of these people have not seen these pictures, especially the ones that I've had for my massage collection of over 30 years. So they're going to look up on that screen and say, oh my gosh, was that me? Yeah. Yeah. And when you say it's a big screen, it's a huge screen. So <laughs> Yes, yes. So, uh, so I would say it's maybe even three stories, would you say, or at least two stories. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the performing arts uh, at yeah. uh, 7 o'clock on Saturday night. Yeah. So I hope everybody can make it in um, so people can be honored for what they for yeah. what they've given. And you're a huge um, history buff too, so what got you all involved in the history of massage therapy? Well, I've always been a collector of sorts, and um, when I started Massage Magazine in 1985, um, I just wanted to um, start collecting anything and everything I could on massage, and so I delved into thousands and thousands of antique stores over the past 27 years and have um, started a history collection and I have over 4,000 objects um, related to massage in all different fields in midwifery and massage, medicine and massage, dentistry and massage, barbering and massage and so I've been putting a PowerPoint together for um, six years and so getting ready to get nationally certified. And what really surprised me in the sanitariums too, so you can have documentation of that, of massage and sanitariums. Yes, I found really old postcards from the late 1800s and early 1900s from all over the um, United States and also I have some from France, Germany and England and um, that in the early 20s they did massage in the sanitariums and the health clubs and so I have all of that history. And then your house is basically like a museum too, so you house a lot of that stuff there, don't you? Yes, yeah. and um, um, opened a museum in 2004, and only had it open for a short time because it was it's a pretty conservative city that I live in, and people just weren't ready for a massage museum. So I uh, put everything in storage and I've cataloged it and taken pictures of everything and have been working on this PowerPoint for years. And so um, the collection is up for sale. So if anybody wants to contact me, they can um, at Judy Calvert at Comcast.net. And um, I also run the Hands-On Trade Association. I created a, a benefits package for massage therapists and body workers, animal massage therapists, cosmetologists, estheticians, and nail techs. And as one of the benefits, I provide professional general liability insurance for them. And I also, um, put out an email newsletter every three months and I try to go around the United States and get the top people in the field to write articles so it can uh, educate uh, therapists about their field. Oh definitely. And then um, how long have you, you had hands on trade then? Uh, 11 years. Wow. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of a multitasker yeah. but I've always been there for the therapist and um, I'm dedicated to um, massage and to touch and to helping others in any way I can. And then with um, insurance, are, what are some of the major claims that you've heard about um, with massage or injuries or anything else? 
Well, um, some people that possibly slip and fall on the on the floor, so therapists really need to pay attention when their clients get on the table and off the table, and um, using the, the proper oil for the season, and so making sure you know that they don't heat up that oil and possibly burn their client. Okay. But luckily there's not a lot of claims, you know, um, which is really good. Have you noticed claims going down for like hot stone and stuff? Because I've, for many years the big buzz was people, um, insurance companies were kind of scared of um, people performing hot stone and stuff. Or? Yes, I actually uh, went to uh, Jenny Ray, who is a um, therapist and also a shaman, and uh, geothermal is what she does, hot and cold stones. And on my website, I put 10 tips that she has given me to uh, help therapists because there have been some claims in the past. Therapists need to be careful about paying attention to the client if they put the stones on their back and perhaps the therapist goes to the feet to work the feet and then they don't pay attention and um, the stones get too hot. Or sometimes therapists dip their hands in the uh, hot water to get the stones and can burn themselves. So um, it's up to the teachers to really give great um, advice and to make sure that the therapists learn properly and to pay attention in every moment, whether you do stone massage or anything in, in that hour, you need to be in the moment all 60 minutes to pay close attention to your client to give the best massage that you can. And yesterday I sat in on her class and it was just amazing. I mean, all the documentation and research she's been doing in the field of even sanitation or even with the hot stones and stuff. So it's, yes, it's, Jenny is an excellent, excellent teacher. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and what's new on the horizon for hands-on training then? Well, we're just um, reaching out to, um, there, there's always a new modality that's being created. There's almost 300 different modalities that people teach. And so um, um, I'm always on the lookout for um, new ones and also people that create it to write an article for my email newsletter and um, creating a new uh, different website. But I like to use my a lot of my old historic pictures on my website so you can look for um, some new old pictures <laughs> on my <laughs> website because yeah. I love uh, history and pictures tell the story of our, of our history, but not only massage because I cover the other modalities too. So I've collected um, um, interesting pictures for beauty and for um, estheticians and cosmetologists and um, I have old hair dryers and um, everything old in all of those fields I've collected so it's been a lot of fun. And for myself for teaching massage I love talking about the history of massage. I mean some people think it's boring but I love knowing where everything started from but where do you find the good information for your massage because there's so much out there whether it's more legit or not or something. Or... Well um, there's been uh, several people that have a chapter in the books that they've written on um, massage, so you can read those chapters. Um, um, Robert Calvert, my husband that passed away in 2006, he wrote the first and only history of massage book, so you can buy that from me. I actually sell it at half price because I want therapists to know their history, or you can also get it on Amazon.com. So um, it's, a, it's a great book on the history of massage. And I've taken it even further with the PowerPoint because I believe that pictures can only tell the story yep. of our past and we need to be so proud because um, I believe it's the oldest profession in the world because it has to do with touch. Yep. And uh, our primates um, taught us how to um, touch to um, help heal. Yep. And yeah, so again, some of my students just love it, and other ones they say, "Hey!" But the thing is, I, I try to convince them how important it is with, the, with history. Yes, because if we don't know where we came from, how do you know how important it is to take your work into the future? Because no matter what kind of massage it is or what kind of body work that you do, it all has to do with touch, caring, loving touch that you give through your hands, and that's as old as time, and it has to do with 
helping this world that's in a lot of pain. Yeah. And then it seems like you're really helping the world out a lot with all this history. And I mean, you're one of the four goers of history and science and so many stuff. Well, it's been a true passion of mine, and um, I, I'm holding the history. There's lots of people that have collected history. I'm not sure if, if mine is the largest collection, but um, I, I want it to get out there so people can really learn, not only massage therapists, but lay people, because we need to educate them about how important it is to get massage in our world. And I'd like to know how you got started in massage making, um, when I first started in stuff, and what, how'd that come out? Well, actually, um, Robert and I had moved to the Big Island, and he was going to write a book on massage, because there were only a few books out around 1985. And one night we were watching a cool TV and a sports massage um, cream advertisement came on the TV and Robert suddenly had a 20 year vision pass before his eyes and he said, I'm not supposed to write a book, we're supposed to create a magazine. And I said, oh really, when are we going to do that? And he said, tomorrow. And I said, okay. So that's how we started Massage Magazine, from a vision that he had. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's been an exciting, uh, um, exciting time in my life for the past almost 30 years. of. Uh, uh, I used, uh, used to tell people, and still do that, you know that old TV show, uh, The Twilight Zone, yep. that used to be on? <laughs> Well, I entered the massage zone instead of the twilight yeah. zone, and I've been in it ever since, and it's been a great ride, so it's not over yet. No, it's not, no, definitely not over yet. So I've seen you at a lot of conferences and stuff like that, too, so you're doing great shows, so people get to meet you. And, and yeah, lives. I've been around, I'm a massage dinosaur. <laughs> In the good sense of dinosaur. Yes, yes. yes. So um, along yeah. with the Hanson Trade Association, I um, teach uh, the history of massage classes at massage schools and um, hope to get nationally certified very soon and get an online class going. And so to really push to get the history out there even further and to continue with the research because. I love it, and every time I finish one section, I find something else in our history to add to it. So it just keeps evolving, and um, it's been really fascinating how the whole story comes together with all the different modalities of chiropractic and massage, dentistry and massage, barbering and massage, uh, comics, uh, massage in the movies, yep. and the sanitariums, yep. and so it's all coming together and it's a fascinating story. I hope maybe even one day it could be on the History Channel um, on TV. Oh, that would be awesome. I mean, <laughs> for really bring, bring it up and stuff like that too. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, I love it. It's a passion of mine. Yeah, it's definitely. And so, so is touch. Yeah. I very much appreciate you doing this too. So it's, Thank you. it's definitely helping out. And, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. let me know if you want me to come and Present my PowerPoint. Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, I'm there. Yeah. Okay. I brought yeah. actually uh, at the Hall of Fame Awards on Saturday night. I brought uh, four um, very old pictures from 1858 on, right around here in North Carolina, um, so people can get a little history while they're here at the show. Yeah, it definitely helps tie it in and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks See everyone. You Saturday night. Thanks.